Hi, my name's um, Richard Smith, um, and I'm the designer of a brand new um, electric and also now an wireless uh, harmonica. And um, this is a, just a little bit of footage just to talk to you about the, the instrument and uh, just explain how it works. So, we can see that. Very, this is the, the wireless model, and in the back there's a little radio transmitter works on UHF. Um, it's the only thing to use at the moment in terms of um, delay, which uh, the digital problem um, has. Uh, and if you're playing in a band, of course, you need to have live uh, timing so that uh, everybody else is playing at the same beat. Um, digital has got what they call latency, which is a delay. And whilst it's getting better and better and better, right now it's still not good enough for um, live applications. That's not to say that things won't improve um, as time goes by uh, and obviously when it does then we'll start incorporating that into our design as well. But uh, right now we've got this particular instrument as you can see no cables, absolute freedom on stage and uh, it's quite a, a unique instrument and it's taken quite a long time to develop it costs a lot of money with patents and so on but we're there now and uh, we're ready to rock. First question and then that comes up is um, okay you've got this instrument uh, with a radio transmitter in it do you have to have one for all the keys? And the answer to that is no. What we've done is we've taken a single instrument and when you want to change key there's a cartridge and when you want to change key you just pop another cartridge in in a different key and as you can see, it takes seconds to do. The next question is, uh, well, how does it compare with um, a regular harmonica? And uh, particularly if you're playing uh, in an electric band where you obviously got to use a microphone as well with it. Um, I've got quite small hands, so trying to hold a microphone and an instrument has always been a tricky thing for me, particularly with uh, bullet microphones. Now that we don't have a microphone anymore, um, we've got done away with the, the issue of two bits of kit in your hand, whether you've got big hands, small hands, whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. And of course, now that there isn't a mechanical thing behind the instrument, you can't get any mechanical noises that you don't want either. Um, on top of that, the dynamics of using your hands, uh, and cupping and so on, are far, far better now than they ever were when you're actually holding a microphone as well. So just a quick little demonstration. Now lots of guys have said to me, um, well, how is it like with uh, the Chicago sound, which is um, an, an overdriven sound? Well, exactly the same thing applies to when you might have been using a bullet mic. Um, basically, the tighter you cup the instrument, the dirtier and more overdriven it's going to become. Uh, personally, I've never been such a big fan of the Chicago sound, but I know lots of guys are. This instrument uh, can also achieve that for you. So. Once again, I'll just show you, but I'll, I'll cup it tight. And once again, removing your hands comes back clean. And so on. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed what we've just done, just to give you a little bit of uh, insight into what we've achieved. We've brought in the instrument into the 21st century now, and uh, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>